Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you what happened when me and the chestiest man on planet earth aka Mike Thurston met up for a chest workout. Spoiler alert, went a little bit like this. <laughs> Pretty sick, right? Anyway, you're gonna get the full chest workout and you're also gonna get some tips which are gonna help you grow a chest so big that when people see it, their eyeballs explode and their face just like instantly evaporates. So if you are excited for that, drop the video a like, subscribe if you are new. And before I get into the video, I have a quick and friggin' exciting announcement that I wanna share with you guys. Something I've been literally desperate to tell you about for what seems like months now, but it's done, it's all sorted, so I can finally talk about it. So as of 7 p.m. this evening, AKA right now, my new coaching service is live. Woo! So if you click the top link in the description, you can go and check out the options. Now I've been working on this for over six months. Like I've put a ridiculous amount of time in it and I genuinely believe it's gonna change the game as far as online coaching and training programs go. Basically, I've taken my existing coaching service and I've put it on a platform that makes it bigger, better, and far more comprehensive. And most importantly, it makes it way, way cheaper for you guys, which means that everyone can access it. So whereas my coaching before was up to 130 pounds a month, now it's less than seven pounds a week. So for the cost of like a couple of coffee from Starbucks a week, you get a frigging crap load of stuff and I'm gonna quickly run through it now. Firstly, you get a completely customized training program that is set up to suit all of your needs, all of your requirements, right? So you put in things like how many days you are available to train each week, how long you are able to spend in the gym each day, what equipment you have, any injuries you have, any preferences you have, like literally covers everything and it will be completely suited to your needs. Plus the program is updated every four weeks to keep things interesting and to make sure you're making progress for a longer period of time. You also get a fully customized diet plan. So again, it's completely tailored to your needs and your requirements. You put in things like what foods you like, what foods you don't like, whether you're a vegetarian, and not only will you be given all of the macros and calories for every single day, you're also get the exact ingredients for every meal of every day of every week for the entire time you're on the program. And again, this is updated every four weeks to stop you from getting bored of your food. On top of that, you also get the Matt Does Fitness app. Like, how friggin' sick is that? What it means is you can see all of your plans on your phone, right? So you get your training program, you can take it to the gym with you, you get your diet plan, you can take it to the shops with you. And um, plus on the app, you'll get a video of me doing every single lift. So if you're not sure about technique, you can watch the video and it shows you exactly how you have to execute that lift. You'll also have access to 24 hour email support. So no matter where you are in the world at any time of the day, you can email in with any issues, any problems, or just general questions you have. Plus, you'll be added to the Matt Does Fitness private members Facebook group. Now on this, you can share pictures, you can share your progress, and I'll be doing things like live Q&A. So it's gonna be friggin' sick. And the best thing is that because the programs are completely personalized to you, the plans are suitable for absolutely anyone from a beginner who's never set foot in a gym before to someone who's been training for like 10 years. You can even get a complete training program that you can complete at home. So like I said, if you are interested or you just wanna check out the options, it's the top link in my description. Now. Just in case for some bizarre reason you're not convinced yet, I'm also gonna be running alongside this a friggin' ridiculous giveaway, right? So for anyone that signs up to a plan in the next seven days, I'm gonna pick out three winners and they're gonna win 500 pounds of Gymshark clothing and my protein supplements. Like, what the hell? This is the best thing ever. I'm like a friggin' jacked Willy Wonka. Okay, to summarize, if you wanna be a part of the best online coaching and training program service in the game, you wanna make friggin' loads of progress in the gym, whether that's to get huge or to get shredded, and you wanna be in a chance of winning friggin' loads of free Gymshark and my protein stuff, click the top link in my description, sign up, and I will see you there. Right, let's get on with the friggin' video. Okay, we are outside King's Gym, AKA King's Gym. Now, I wanted to do a chest focus video, something about getting a bigger chest, and so I thought, who do I know who has a chest that looks like someone has glued elephant buttocks to their torso? Oh yeah, Mike Thurston. Mm -hmm. So, there they are, absolute, absolute views. So the plan is, we're gonna take you through a full push workout with an emphasis on chest. We're gonna throw in some kind of chest focused tips as we go along. Um, yeah, let's yeah, go. More chest focused exercises in this push session. 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 I'm so glad you decided to add that bit. That is gonna, that is gonna make the video, right? Let's go and warm up. Go, go. 
Okay, warm up is done and it is game on. Now, this is gonna be the first of two push workouts I will do a week. Today's gonna be chest focus. Now, as far as frequency goes, I would recommend training chest twice a week, especially if you are trying to focus on growing your chest, right? Simply put, if you train chest once a week, it's gonna be very hard for you to accumulate enough volume in one session to cover that week, right? Doing a week's worth of volume in one session is gonna be like, you know, four, five, six, seven exercises. By the time you get to those last few exercises, the quality is gonna be so poor that it's gonna be kind of diminishing return. So I definitely recommend twice a week frequency. Would you agree, Michael Thurston? Yes, definitely. If you've done three or four exercises, and you push yourself hard enough, you're not gonna have anything left in the yeah. tank, so you might as well split it up, give it a few days rest, and then combine it with another yeah, muscle yeah. group which yeah. you wanna focus on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so today we're gonna to kick off with fairly heavy bench press, fairly heavy incline dumbbell press, and that is again another recommendation as far as growing your chest, is A, incorporate heavy compound lifts, and B, do them first, right? So we're trying to do any kind of heavy quality focused compound lift after other stuff, it's gonna be terrible quality, you only get nothing from it in that sense, right? So make sure all your heavy compounds for the muscle you're trying to work, which today is gonna to be chest, are at the start of your session. So with that said, let's go and get started. Bye. Heavy bench and heavy incline dumbbell press done. And uh, what is important to note there is that we have a flat chest exercise and then an incline chest exercise. And that is key, isn't that right? Yes. Person. If you want to have a nice 3D chest, you want to hit all the fibers from different angles. So don't just keep doing flat exercises, which is going to target either the mid or lower pec. You want to vary, even if it's just adjusting the bench by one pin, that's still a little yeah, bit yeah. different. And just, to, just for clarity there, like, there's a misconception. When you train, for example, incline, incline uh, dumbbell press, although there is slightly more emphasis on your upper chest, you're still training your whole chest, right? That you can't. Your chest is a muscle, so you can't. You can't only train one well, element of it. Just do that yeah, 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 yeah. There, yeah. And that bit so you're training chest as a whole, but what you can do is put slightly more emphasis on one part of your chest within that movement. Um, and on top of that, to lead on for that, what's key is that as well as doing a combination of flat decline and incline press and flies, you also vary which ones are heavy. So for example, if you do, if you think, right, I'm doing like flat incline dumbbell and decline I'm covered, but you always do flat heavy and you always do decline light at the end, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be relative because what's gonna happen is your flat pressing is gonna get more attention because that's your heavy quality work and your decline is gonna be neglected. So make sure you alternate. So maybe one week you do a heavy flat press, the next week you start with a heavy decline press, next week a heavy incline press. That way you are hitting everything in a nice balanced uh, volume distributed way and then uh, you're good. Anyway, let's continue with our chest isolation type stuff. Fitness in the house, accompanied by Mike. Does fitness? Mike is desperate to take that name, but I've already I've copyrighted anything that yeah. has the word "does" or "fitness" in it yeah. for the That's entire. Mike does chest or something. Mike does chest. Yeah, so you can't have "does." Definitely, Mike do chest. Yeah, I'm gonna work. 
Okay, anyway. cool, cool chat. So, what we just did there was more isolation, uh, contraction focused work. So what I'd recommend, what we would recommend is that you start a session with the heavy compound stuff, you then move on to more, uh, yeah, contraction focused stuff. So you drop the weight, you increase the rep range, and rather than focusing on moving heavy weight, you focus on a really, really good quality contraction. So that is key, right? I slowed it down a little bit as well, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's about the contraction, yeah, because people, a big mistake is that people assume they can do a chest exercise, a chest press, they can do a chest fly, and that's it, right? But there's more to it than that. It's very easy to go for a chest workout without properly engaging your chest, right? So cues, whenever you're doing any kind of pressing movement, you want to stick your chest out, retract your scapula, and almost as if you're trying to maintain this position, the nip slip again. Maintain this position when you're pressing. The moment you feel your shoulders or your rear delts coming off the bench or whatever's supporting you on your back, that's usually the case when your front delts are taking over. Once they take over, it's going to be very hard for you to find the tension on your pecs once again. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it basically ends up being a vicious cycle, right? If you, if you particularly with pressing movements, if you find yourself in this position here, then your front delts are doing all the work, your front delts are going to get bigger and stronger and tighter, and they're going to they're keep taking over and your chest is going to get nothing, and you're going to end up with this horrible, ugly, caveman, Neanderthal-like posture. AKA the Mike Thurston posture. So you want to retract them the whole time, even in like everyday menial tasks, always be mindful of pulling your scapula back and down, having your chest sticking out, and that's gonna constantly lead to your chest getting a better contraction. But the more you do it, the more you get a feel for what it feels like to have your chest engaged and contracted, the easier it's gonna to be to replicate it without really thinking about it too much. It takes, if you, if you find it hard to do, it just takes practice. Yeah, yeah, it just literally sounds weird, but literally just practice contracting your chest. Yeah. Look in a mirror and just, Look for those strays in your chest, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that is the chest portion of the workout done. And now we're gonna move on to some shoulder exercises, some tricep exercises, and get this workout finished. Here they come for a chance, for adventure. What's your poison? What's your pleasure? coming down from the roof. Crazy pump on the roof, I've heard. Yeah, roof pump, roof pump, best kind of pump. Okay, um, so, to summarize that incredible, can you assume, have some respect, Mike, <laughs> for our viewers, can you summarize, this sounds weird, summarize the session in terms of chest tips. We're gonna give three, three quick fire tips for the viewers to take away from this video to grow your chest, what would they be? First one, heavy compound movements to begin with. Yeah, key, absolutely key. Heavy compound, good example would be a barbell bench press, a dumbbell chest press, right? Yeah. Second tip, frequency. Train your chest twice a week. If you are looking to grow your chest and you are only training it once a week, that is not gonna be enough time to accumulate enough volume. The only exception being if you are a complete beginner. Yeah. If you're a complete beginner, once a week is fine, but after you've been training for a year or two, you're gonna wanna increase that frequency. And third and final tip is gonna be finish with some isolation work. With the focus being on big, uh, beautiful squeezes. Yeah, and contraction. If you struggle to do that, practice. Keep your shoulders back, chest out, posture. Yeah, and don't be things. scared to drop the weight, right? I think yeah. people, especially if they train with their friends and they're, maybe they're younger and there's a bit of peer pressure, they get caught up with like, whacking loads of weight on the bar. That has its place. You just shouldn't shy away from lifting heavy, but with the contraction focus work it's got to be light enough to enable you to get a good contraction if you find it's too heavy and your form is suffering the contraction the engagement is not going to be high and Shoulders the takeaway is not going to be as good over. yeah exactly you're going to have that horrible horrible like i said posture that no one wants okay great work out there um, the video's done, it's quite cold outside. We're gonna finish the video here. The mic's gonna climb, go up then, come on. Give it the big one, mate, get up the ladder. someone up there. Okay, this is, I mean, this is quite awkward. As you were, mate, as you were. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you tomorrow.
more. Yeah, more.